Uh, should we talk about planes instead? Yeah, this is produced by uh, Disney Toon Studios rather than Disney Pixar. And this is important because Disney Toon Studios... Uh, majority of, the majority of the stuff that they make is straight to DVD uh, and actually Planes was originally going to be a direct to DVD film as a, a spin off from Cars and then uh, someone decided that actually they could probably make a bit more money and make more money from the merchandising if they released it on the big screen. Um, and it's concentrating more on, obviously, the machines in the sky this time rather than the machines on the ground. Uh, it tells the story of a crop dusting plane called Dusty Crop Hopper, oh, voiced, by, um, voiced by Dane Cook, stand-up comedian, who dreams of flying in the legendary Wings Across the World race. Here's a clip. Hey, at plane. Landscaping was yesterday, man. I, Get off the runway. We're no, racing here. Hey. Second call for Strut Jetstream. No, 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 no. Looking for... Yo, I'm Strut Jetstream. You're Strut Jetstream? Yep. A crop duster? Man, what's going on here? Is everybody getting to fly today? Man, your mama must have had high hopes for you. Now, you know you built for seed, not speed. You Woo! gotta be kidding me. That farmer's gonna race? <laughs> Seriously, with a prop that small? <laughs> Maybe he races that leaky old fuel truck next to him. <laughs> Who you calling leaky? A leak on you if you don't check your intake. Don't lower yourself to their level. Unfortunately, I, I, I do think it feels like a straight-to-DVD film, even though they have decided to release it at the cinema. It is very generic. It plays very young, actually, much younger than I think the, the Cars movies did. It feels like something from CBeebies, really. Mm. Um, but crucially missing the, the witty gags that elevate the best animations to, to the next level. So it's a little bit boring. There is a horrible moment... Um, when we learn that this competition that Dusty is entering, the Wings Around the World competition, across the world competition, has seven stages and you just sit and there knowing that you're going to have to watch <laughs> each of the seven stages that he goes through. Um, that I mean, there are some ridiculous stereotypes in it and this is really what kept my mind kind of active during the time I was watching it. Um, there's the British plane, obviously voiced by John Cleese, uh, with a, a Union flag painted all over it. A Mexican plane who wears a Mexican, Mexican wrestling mask very passionate and dramatic about everything. There's a scene in the Himalayas where uh, there are cars dressed as Buddhist monks. Of There's course. a scene in China where there are cars wearing coolie hats and harvesting rice in paddy fields. <laughs> oh um, it, I mean, it is sort of 70s sitcom stuff. It's kind of educational stuff. for young children then. Well, possibly not. No. It's sort of 70s sitcom stuff. Uh, occasionally, actually, it does get a bit more brutal on occasions. There's um, a scene, a flashback to the Second World War, which is actually pretty good. Um, although it was the moment when uh, a little girl sat behind me with her mum, said, Mum... I really don't like this film. So I'm not sure, I mean, I know that's only one person, but I'm not sure whether even the intended audience are going to find it as exciting and explosive as other animations that have been out there because it does just look a bit second string and a bit second rate. Um, I, I wonder with um, with the you know not wanting to go into sexual stereotypes at all, but having um, having both boys and girls, and knowing that this will this will excite quite a lot of young boys, but it will obviously be a very very young audience. Um, and I know that my daughter would have no interest in going to see this whatsoever. Yeah, and yet something like Epic. I mean, she and I were sat transfixed. And yet other friends that I've got who've got boys were like, oh, it's a rubbish film epic. I mean, so it just kind of appeals to... You know. Yeah, I guess it would certainly, generally speaking, appeal more to boys. But, the, you know, the interesting thing is, is that this is a spin-off from Cars, um, which has really been John Lasseter's pet project. He's the boss of Disney Pixar. Um, and the first one came out and, it, you know, it did all right, but it certainly wasn't deemed a, a toy story or that kind of Lots level. Of university up. Yeah. Um, but around. then, surprisingly, it got a sequel because, hey, if you're the boss and you know it's your movie then you can green light a sequel very easily so John Lester then did a sequel and Cars 2 I think is the lowest grossing Disney Pixar movie around the world ever I mean it's done well but it's not really caught the imagination in the way that others have and yet still we now get another one you know from that same world and it's like indulgent uh, yeah it is indulgent and you know John Lester obviously a massively talented bloke he's the guy who gave us Toy Story but there is certainly a feeling I think with his I mean he's a petrol head there is a feeling that okay John enough with the cars and the planes and the machines I know you love boats. them boats I mean, is on the way it could it? be submarines I know this is your pet thing I know that this is what you know what drives you if you pardon the pun but i don't think audiences are responding to them in the same way that you unless are unless you're talking about merchandise and then i suspect that you know cars, well yeah the spin-off of cars or the effect of cars i bet there are many people listening right now but as they go in their kitchen they will see plates they'll probably have duvets they'll have the whole lot and it'll all be car related certainly so people maybe have said well. that planes feels like an advert for merchandise rather than a proper film